Hi, my name is Danny, and I'm a lecturer in the School of Psychology at the University of Auckland. And my research tends to focus on the effects of inequality on various aspects of people's psychological well-being. So one of the interesting things about inequality, and one of the things that we know from the literature, is that levels of inequality negatively affect everybody. So it doesn't matter if you're wealthy or you're poor. If you live in an unequal environment, it has negative implications for people's well-being. Um, one of the limitations to past research, however, has been that th these studies have focused on cross-country comparisons. So for example, comparing Australia to New Zealand. We know that the countries vary by multiple things, not just inequality. So for example, one of the two countries has won the World Cup two consecutive, years, uh, two consecutive series in a row. Um, and we also know that Australia and New Zealand differ along other dimensions. So by making these cross-country comparisons, we're not 100% certain that the levels of inequality are causing these negative implications for people's well-being. One of the really great things about the NZAVS is the fact that we can do these comparisons within a single country. So by taking population level data, we're able to combine that with information that we have from individual participants and look at the effects of inequality within a region on people's psychological well-being, on their self-esteem, on how they view intergroup relations. As such, one of the studies that I recently conducted with Chris Sibley was looking at the effects of regional level inequality on people's self-esteem. In particular, what we looked at were people's perceptions of what they have relative to others, a term that we refer to as individual-based relative deprivation, as well as their perception that their group is receiving less than other groups in New Zealand, a concept that we refer to as group-based relative deprivation. In a set of analyses that we recently ran, we looked to see if the effects of inequality in people's particular region of residence if that could predict people's levels of self-esteem via their perceptions of individual and group-based deprivation. So that is, does living in an unequal region affect people's perceptions of how much they have relative to others and in turn affect their self-esteem? What we found through a series of analyses was that the more unequal your neighborhood, the more you perceived others had more than you and the more you perceived that other groups had more than your group in society. In turn, these perceptions of deprivation led to decrements in people's self-esteem. So, long story short, if you live in unequal neighborhoods, it increases the perception that others have more than you, which in turn decreases your self-esteem. So one of the directions that we'd like to take this research in the future is to track these changes over time, and in particular, try and get at or try and get closer to a causal relationship between living in unequal regions and these subsequent decrements to people's self-esteem. And the only way that we can do this is by the generous um, responses from participants and changing, tracking these changes across time.